So I've seen a lot of chatter online about this relatively new dividend ETF, ticker SCHY. As you can probably tell by that name, this is very similar to SCHD, but it's different in one key way. SCHY is the international version of SCHD. If you're asking me, I think what makes SCHD so unique and special of an ETF is the index that it follows, which is the Dow Jones US 100 index. So this selects firms based off of a 10 year plus history of paying dividends, their cash flow to debt ratio, return on equity, dividend yield, and the growth rate of their dividend. And SCHY follows a very similar uh, index, the Dow Jones International Dividend 100 Index. And this index is more or less exactly the same when it comes to the ranking and criteria. So in terms of just the quality and the approach, SCHY is essentially exactly the same as SCHD, but focusing on those international names and excluding US names. Now, the next question here is, do you even need international stock exposure? Of course, we all should be properly diversified, but you don't necessarily need a dedicated international fund in order to give you exposure to the rest of the growth of the global economy. Here's a graph of the S&P 500 revenue by country. Of course, as you would expect, the US does dominate, but it is by no means the only country that these companies do business in. We do, after all, live in a globalized world. The supply chains span across multiple continents, and simply due to the market and the exceptionalism of the US, lots of overseas companies like Spotify are headquartered and listed on the New York Stock Exchange. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you invest in the S&P 500, you do have connections to the rest of the global economy. Now, one legit reason people invest in international companies is due to the varying growth rates. So this is a report by JP Morgan, and here are some GDP growth estimates for 2023. Globally, they have it set at 1.6%, domestic markets, 0.8%, the US they have at 1% growth, China, 4%, and emerging markets, 2.9%. So if you have a hunch that say the US market is overvalued and emerging markets have been beat up recently, that could be a good reason to enter a position in some international plays. Strictly in terms of performance, over the past five years, which albeit isn't that long of a time frame, the US has been one of the best markets to be investing in. To illustrate this, we have a couple of ETFs here. So VT is a global market index. As you would expect, the US does still dominate this index at a weighting of nearly 59%, but you do have exposure to Japan, United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, and so on. VTI, I'm sure you guys are familiar with the ETF, but this is the total US market. Ticker VEA gives you exposure to developed markets minus the US. So that's Japan, United Kingdom, Canada, Netherlands, Germany, Sweden, and many more. And VWO in green is giving you exposure to developing markets. And looking at all these side by side over the past five years, it's clear that the US market represented by VTI is the strongest performer here. Now you can make the argument that the performance between US and international stocks has a cyclical relationship. And the past decade has been more favorable to US companies, which could indicate that the near future could be a reversal. So with this graph as the example, anything above this zero point indicates that the US outperformed and below international outperformed. So in most of the 1990s, some of the 80s, and all of the 2010s, the US was the stronger market to be in. But when the US economy struggles, like it did back in the 70s, the late 80s, around the dot-com and financial crisis, that is when international, comparatively speaking, did better. So in a way, investing in international stocks gives you a hedge against recessions in the US. And if we follow the cyclical trend, it does make sense that relatively soon, we should have international performance. And if that is indeed the case, SCHY could be a good spot to look for dividend income. Do note that SCHY is a relatively new ETF. It's a little bit less than two years old. And since that inception date, it has mostly trailed behind SCHD and thus the US market. So let me know what you guys think. Do you like international stocks? Is that part of your strategy? Or do you rely on the global nature, the interconnectivity of global economies to give you that exposure instead? If you guys enjoyed, I appreciate a like before you go, subscribe for more content in the future, and I'll see you guys in the next one.